Welcome back to another edition of Myth Badger videos. In this video, we're going to take a look at building a belt drive. Now, as we look at the equipment, I want to point out something with the equipment that we're going to be using today, and that is in particular this pulley piece that we're going to be using with the belt drive. Now, this has kind of a weird history because the equipment we're using, this doesn't actually fit very well with that equipment without modification. My understanding is it's actually built for use with the VEX IQ equipment, with it, with it, which is a different series of pieces. So let's take a look in particular at what the issue is. The issue is actually the spot where the axle would go through. We actually have a round hole here, but the axle that we use is square shaped, which means that this thing just freely spins on that axle and doesn't actually grip. So we need to modify it in order to make it fit. So what we've done is on one side of this, on the back side, I've actually dremeled out some of the space here on two of these gears. And what I've dremeled it out for is to attach one of these pieces, which is a spare piece that comes with quite a few gears. And what I'm going to actually do is put that inside so that I'm actually creating a square opening for our axle to work with. So that is a modification that would be needed in order to make this work. Now, thankfully, this is a relatively quick um, build to make once you have the necessary parts. Uh, we all have standard parts here. We have two drive shafts, two pulley gears, some locking collars, three hole spacers, and some rivets. But I've also got a rubber band here that I'm going to need to use. So um, right now I'm just going to go ahead and pick a spot. And I'm going to attach um, the first of our um, three hole spacers here. And I'm realizing as I do this, I actually need a second set of three hole spacers because I only grabbed two. And I've got two drive shafts. I really should be using two for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this axle through. And let's get about right there and go ahead and lock this down. And I'm going to put another one on the back to lock the back down as well. Okay, so I've got, oh, I didn't have it locked down as well as I would have liked, so let's tighten that a little bit more. Still not great. Come on. Wow, I just can't. Let's, let's switch that out and use a different locking collar. It's possible that the locking collar is part of the problem. So, let's grab another locking collar and we'll tighten that down. And there we go. Now we've got that nice and secure. So I'm going to take one of these pulleys and I'm just going to slot this onto the drive shaft. Now I need to do that first because I want to figure out the position for where um, I'm going to hold this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull this a bit tight. I'm going to put the other pulley on this and I'm going to use this to mark the opening. So I'm actually going to use this opening here. So let's get my three hole spacers and I'm going to need one here. And this is another good reason to keep some of these spare parts readily available here uh, so that I can very quickly just grab what I need from some of the common pieces. And let's attach this to the back end here. So another set of rivets. And one more here. So now I just need to put my pulley, well, nope, let's get these locked down. So locking collar on the front end, locking collar on the back end, and now we just attach the pulley. And then all I need to do is run a rubber band between these, and here is my belt drive. Move that forward a bit so you can see it. So there is a working belt drive. So thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all future tutorials here at Myth Badger Videos.